Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have our Kingdom Cup tournament and I'm really excited for this one. I actually did tie for first place. Now let me ask you guys a question. Because two people got 10 points and then I got 9. Does that count as like second or third or is it still first? Because like we all got the same amount of total points. We all got 3 points because there was no undefeated. So let me know what you guys think. And regardless, if you look on the other side, I do, I am still ranked number 1 in my community. So does that mean I'm guaranteed to get an invite? I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments down below and definitely give me your insight on it. I guess we'll find out May 1st when regional invites go out. Um, I'm not sure if I can compete in it regardless, but uh, it's still going to be cool nonetheless. Uh, to be able to get an invite and whatnot, so it's really cool. So uh, yeah, I really had f fun. So technically, in the Boulder Cup, I won. I went undefeated, and then for the Twilight Cup, I also tied for first place. So it was a similar situation. I didn't do so hot in the Tempest Cup. I guess I wasn't super prepared for that as the other cups. And then for the Kingdom Cup, I tied again. So pretty overall steady um, rankings, I guess. Pretty pretty happy with my performances for the most part. Uh, but this guy, he actually takes. Uh, first place now i've actually never seen him in the discord so i don't know if he's new uh let me know in the co i mean well i was about to say let me know if he's new in to the discord no you you guys wouldn't know <laughs> so what am i saying uh, so he might be new to the discord but really talented player i think my big problem here is i didn't really know how to go up against bronzong because i've never used a bronzong and I've, I've never tested it out and i'm not making excuses i'm just saying like i didn't really have much experience with a bronzong and going up against it and whatnot so i didn't even know 100% what moves it had. Like, I knew it had Heavy Slam, but, you know, I wasn't too confident, or I, I knew, didn't know too much about it, so that could have been a reason um, as to why I was struggling with Bronzong and whatnot. But uh, either way, we had good battles. As you saw, he did take the first one. Uh, we're going to Dragon Pulse that, hoping he would predict Sky Attack, which is exactly what happened, so we do knock out Altaria. That's definitely going to help us out. And our final Pokemon is Lucario, and I basically knew I had this. We both had a shield, and Power Up Punch charges up so fast, so of course he has to use the shield. I'm going to go ahead and use his shield on Surf, and I knew I'd be able to get to another Power Up Punch. I don't think I needed it anyway. We would have knocked him out with Counter. So we do go ahead and take Game 2, but a really good matches, really good matches. A really strong opponent, too. So hopefully I could battle him again on the channel because he was a really strong opponent. Uh, whether or not he's new to the Discord or not, I don't know. Maybe he came from somewhere else. But definitely a strong, competitive opponent. And I had a lot of fun. So thank you so much. If you watch the videos, and I don't know if you do, thank you so much for the battles. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and switch into Lapras. Uh, doing a lot of damage with that flash cannon. Uh, so good play on his end. I guess I should have blocked that. I don't know. But uh, I was thinking Heavy Slam, but no, it was Flash Cannon. So I decided to go ahead and block this because I thought I would be able to get to another Surf. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have blocked it, guys. I don't know. Um, another thing about me is I have a lot of anxiety, you know. So it's like like when intense situations or really competitive situations, I might not play the best I can necessarily, you know, when it when it. It's like important and whatnot, so that could have affected my tournament as well. Now, again, I'm not making excuses because I did well in this tournament, so uh, yeah, no excuses to be made considering I did do well. But I'm just saying that could that could be it, like in a big regional setting, you know, especially in the beginning, I might have that type of anxiety or whatnot. I don't know, but uh, either way, he actually goes ahead and takes this, so he wins. Round 1, unfortunately. So we do lose round 1. Now, next up, we're going up against my good friend, Photon. Now, he's actually... Um, he's not really a competitive player. He doesn't play PvP. He's more into raids and whatnot. He doesn't play tournaments. He just entered for... Uh, the fun of it, I guess. Uh, so, wasn't really super competitive, and that's okay. I mean, we want people to enter and play and have fun. You don't have, you could be a casual gamer, you could be a casual player, you don't have to have the best Pokemon. Like, you could use Magma, it doesn't matter, uh, or whatnot. We get him with Shadow Ball and knock him out immediately. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to use the most competitive Pokemon in the world. I think a lot of his Pokemon were, like, in the 1300s in terms of CP, some even 1200s maybe, and that's okay. You know, if you're not a great player, it doesn't matter. You know, if you're not, you're just going to have fun. Come to have fun. We love having fun, right? So, it doesn't matter at all, but we do hit him with a Sky Attack right now, and we're able to knock him out and take that win. So, uh, really good game, really good game. I had a lot of fun there, so we do go ahead and take uh, the win against 
Photon. So we're going to go ahead and jump into another match against him. And this time, beginning with Altaria, he does begin with his Lapras again. So I uh, got away for that Ice Beam, but again, I'm okay. Uh, I, at this point, because he was only using Surf, I was thinking maybe he didn't purchase a secondary move on it, so he might not have Ice Beam. So, so that's what I was kind of banking on. Uh, hit him with the power of punch now, expecting him to block that because Shadow Ball knocked him out last time. And that's exactly what he does. So we hit him with another power of punch. He'll go ahead and block that to keep Magma alive. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and block this. I was expecting a Fire Blast because Fire Blast would do a lot of damage just because it's a strong move. But no, it's Fire Punch. So we do block it. Getting off a Dragon Pulse to begin with. Doing a lot of damage. So now we get off a Sky Attack. And um, almost taking it out. So now we're able to take out Magneton. And his final Pokemon is going to be that Lapras, of course. I'm going to go ahead and block that Surf because I thought I would be able to get to a Sky Attack as we do. So we do go ahead and get the Sky Attack and we knock out Lapras and we do take that game. So uh, really good games, really good games. Competitive or not, it doesn't matter. We still had great games. And now we're jumping into our third opponent. We had four rounds in this tournament. This is Jetfire. You've seen him on the channel. Uh, we had a little bit of lag. I think he got off a few th uh, free shots, but that's okay. It didn't matter to me. Um, so I'm using my Bash Shield Don to begin with. I saw he had either like three or four Dragon type Pokemon. So I knew um, I had to go in with like Altaria in the back and, and other Pokemon that could counter those Pokemon. Uh, also, I wanted to begin with Bash Don because I knew he, he could lead with like Alteria and uh, like even Dragonair I was okay against. Um, so basically even at this point we are able to get off a Sky Attack right now and he's going to go ahead and block that as I thought he would. I'm going to go ahead and do the same and block that because I knew we had more energy. I knew we'd be able to get off a Sky Attack first. I didn't want to risk trying to knock him out for, be, without the Sky Attack because he would have knocked us, us out. His final Pokemon is Lucario so we're in luck. We bring that Charizard. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and block that just in case the Shadow Ball. I knew it wasn't Shadow Ball, but just in case, decided to block it using the Dragon Claw and finishing off Lucario. So we do take game one. You've seen Jetfire on the channel before. He's a really good opponent. Uh, he's relatively competitive as well. So he's really good. Uh, really fun match. So uh, right now, beginning both with Alteria. So really even matchup. Seeing who can get to that Sky Attack first. We're actually able to get to the Sky Attack before he does. And he's going to go ahead and use the Sky Attack. I'm going to go ahead and block this because I wanted to be able to knock out his Altaria with that um, Dragon Breath. And then I would have my charge moves ready to go. He does decide to bring in Celio. Doing a good amount of damage to that Celio as well. We're just going to let Altaria fall to that Body Slam. No big deal. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Lucario, which I knew would be able to knock out Celio because we are super effective. He brings in his own Lucario. He's got to block that, of course, uh, which is good for us. We can always steal up a shield. So he does knock us out first, but he's like a 1 HP. Bringing in that Flygon doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and block this Power Up Punch, and we're going to be able to finish him off just because he was at 1 HP. So we actually do go ahead and take the win. Mm against Jetfire. So good game. If you watch the videos, thanks a lot. Now, the final opponent, Joker. Unfortunately, we lost the first match, so we don't have that. We did win that match, but uh, it cut off in the middle, so we don't have that video, unfortunately. But we did win that match. Uh, but yeah, comes down to me and Joker. He was actually 3-0 and I was 2-1, so uh, it was awesome to be paired up against him. Really fun. And you, you guys know, we're the only like two super, super, super competitive uh, people like we love PvP absolutely. There's other competitive people, but we absolutely love PV PvP. Um, like in our community, although there's other people obviously that play PvP. So unfortunately, right now he does have a Steelix against my Alteria. It's gonna go ahead and use that Crunch. I'm gonna switch into Lapis. He pulls out immediately, so good switch on his end. Hit me up with that Power Up Punch, trying to knock out Lucario. I knew he'd be able to get up a Power Up Punch before I could knock him out, so we do use that Surf and knock him out. He brings in Steelix. My final Pokemon is gonna be Alteria, so I'm thinking to myself, is there anything I could do against him? No, because he has two shields, so you know he's gonna be able to knock us out with that Steelix unfortunately so he does they take t the game so it's 1-1 at the moment and we're going to go ahead and jump into the final game so if he wins he goes undefeated and wins the tournament so both of us do begin with Alteria and um yeah pretty evenly matched I'm pretty sure I had experienced a little bit of lag at the beginning I didn't recall like ask for like a restart or whatnot. I it was like a two second delay, so he got off a free shot. That's why he got the sky attack first. But again, that's okay. I believe that was. But he actually switches, so good switch on his end. 
and into Steelix. So we're going to have to pull a switch into Lapras. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this go through, expecting a crunch as it was. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get off this Surf. I wasn't sure if he would block. He doesn't block. So, um, yeah, we're basically able to knock out that Steelix. He does go off another crunch, but again, we knock out Steelix. And he brings in his Lucario. So we do get off that Surf. This time we expect a block, and that's what he does. He does go ahead and block that. So, you know, decided to bring in Lucario. Gonna go ahead and block this one. Power up punch. That's okay because we get off a power punch of our own. He has no shields. He can't block it. His final Pokemon, Alteria, he's at 1 HP. So he's gonna knock out uh, Lucario. But again, you know, his Pokemon is gonna faint, and we're actually gonna take that. So, allowing a four way tie. Um, and some of you had asked to show my global ranking. My global ranking is 2,373. I wanted to wait until after the Kingdom Cup to show you. So, uh, overall, I'm satisfied with this ranking. It's not crazy like some of you had said. You're ranked, you know, 100, 500. Absolutely insane, guys. But, yeah, we're not that good. But, um, I, I think you basically need to do well in every tournament with, like, a lot more people, right? That's how you get, like, a much better ranking or whatnot. But overall, I am satisfied with my ranking. We should get an invite to regionals. Uh, let me know if you think we will. But, you know, if we don't, we don't. It's okay. It doesn't matter to me. We just love playing the matches. So, um, but yeah, overall, ha happy with the global ranking. 2,373 were in the top 5.64%. So, uh, definitely, definitely satisfied with this. And hopefully we do better in the Nightmare Cup. Although we did do well. You know, I need to up update my card. You know, I have a lot more than 26 million experience. I have like 36 million now. Well, I'm close to 37 million, right? So, um... Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty good, pretty good. But let me know your global ranking, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, click on one of the links to check out another one of my videos that you'll probably enjoy.